Today's Captain's Blog is made possible through the support of my old friend, Daniel D. Jager. Thank you, sir. And it's made possible through the support of dozens of other people just like you on Patreon who help fund the production of these videos, and without whom, none of this would ever happen. Thank you, everyone, for being a part, and if you're interested in joining the team, check out the links below in the description and see how you can get involved. Thank you. Hi there guys, I'm Chris Bowden and welcome back to the shop where today we're doing episode 10 on Project Archie. Today's a quick and easy one. We're going to hack up some Ethernet cables. This is the job du jour. So there's like 50 different ways to do what we're about to do. I'm going to do it the way that I know best and that is with this tool. This is the, uh, the Klein Ethernet Cat5 stripper, Cat5, 6, 217. This is, uh, you can get these at Home Depot. They're not expensive. And if you're working with Ethernet on a regular basis, this is a really invaluable tool to have. Like super skookum, I love it and I use the hell out of it. There really isn't much to it. It's got uh, two different sizes and you actuate it with that. That's really, there's, there's nothing to this. So you could do this with a razor blade or an X-Acto knife or something like that. And maybe I'll show you a couple different ways to do it. It's probably a good idea. Um, but what we're doing today is pretty simple. And if you'd like to get a, an advanced class on what we're doing today, watch my previous video. I just, just released a video on doing plugs on like line end plugs on, on the end of various types of cords. Uh, I did a Harding connector and a 240 volt plug and a lot of what we're going to do today as far as the delicate part applies to that. Ethernet cable is very different for stripping than stuff like Service Junior or various SO cords stuff like that because Ethernet cable is super thin like the jacket on it's just crazy thin and it behaves differently. So, you're going to need your red, yellow, and blue Ethernet cables. And these are just short little lengths of Ethernet cable. So, what we're going to do first is trim our cables down to six inches because, and this is important, um, you only want to cut six inches off because you're going to use the other end of the cables later on. So we're going to cut all these down to six inches. So I'm just going to grab my cutters and measure out on my mat. And the cool thing is, if you screw these up, it isn't really that big a deal because this stuff is super easy to get and it's not like an expensive or exotic part in any way. So I'm gonna cut this off. Now, I'm measuring my six inches from here, from the back of the plug right there. That's my six inches is from there. I'm not counting this in the six inches. Then we'll measure and cut blue. All right, now we can set this aside. And we're going to focus on just this. Now, we've got red, yellow, and blue. And I'm going to try doing each of these in a slightly different way just to give you some options. The first one I'm going to do with my power stripper here because this just makes things way easier. Now, there's two different holes on this, STP, UTP, and then like RG5960 and whatever. So we want to use this hole. This is UTP, unshielded twisted pair. So I'm just going to run this right down the cable like that, and then just spin it and pop it off. And now that'll just come right off. And it leaves me with a perfect pristine clean end. Nothing to it, all, all done. Now there's some extra bits in here 
This will vary depending on what cat of cable you have, but if you bought the recommended, like the exact recommended cable in the Amazon, then this is what you're going to have. And there will be this reinforcing thing up the center. You're not going to need that. So we can just cut that right out. Being careful not to cut any of our other conductors. So that's the quick and easy way. Done. There's red. I can throw that away. And it also teaches me, because all this had was the plastic thing, there is no thread in there in these particular cables. Um, because that's a different way you can do this. Some Ethernet cable has a little string down the inside and you can cut it and find the string and grab that and peel it back and it'll just, and it'll just slit it all the way up the jacket. You can't do that on this cable. So here's another way. Now I'm going to do this super careful because this isn't like SO cable. In fact, I'm going to do it up here because if I do it down there, I'm going to screw it up. I got to, I got to have this where I can see it. So you hold your razor blade or your knife or whatever right where you want to be and just very lightly score this. I'm not, I'm not even cutting it. Just the lightest of scores. Needs to be a little bit heavier than that. But you're really, you're just, you're just dragging that on there. Yeah, I don't like how that works. Because with, these are pretty decent cables. With cheap cables, you can just score this on there. And it'll just slightly leave a mark. This is not the easy way to do this. And I'm trying to do it right up at the thing, which is weird. Yeah, I can't get that to work right, so I'm not I'm not gonna chance it. Nah, I gotta do it like this because a lot of you guys are gonna have to do it like this. Because you're not gonna have the tool. Ah, oh, fuck, that's hard. I suffer for you, damn it. Alright. I'm going to come out. I'm going to come out to about here. So because I don't want to stress this right up in the plug. I want to be able to see what the hell I'm doing. I'm just pressing enough to leave a line. Yep, that's what I want to see. So I'm just pressing enough to leave a line. You can see the white in there. That's what you want. You don't want to see conductors. If you see conductors, you went too deep. And I'm just going to carefully, there we go. There we go. That's what I wanted to see. See it starting to split there? And you just work that split open without actually messing with the conductors. So I'm going to score me a line around the side. This is one of those things, it's way easier to just do it when you're not thinking about it. It's like throwing a ball. If you've, because I've done this a million times, but it's like throwing a ball. If you, if you think about throwing a ball, you'll screw it up. You gotta just do it. Just trust your brain. Your brain knows. Okay, and then we're, and now we've, We've got that line all the way around, and we're just gonna, and then, boop, then you got it. So that's way harder. Now you see why well, you should buy these damn things. Klein doesn't sponsor my videos. So when I say this is a good tool, I mean it. Nobody pays me to give tool recommendations or anything like that, which is a good thing because I talk a lot of shit about a lot of tools, but I like my Klein strippers. And I've run a lot of Ethernet cable. <laughs> All right. So that's our alternate method. Now, I can't show you the third way with the string because these don't have that. Now, you could probably do it with the... You're not going to do it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. 
but and really if you've spent a couple grand building a robot I think you owe it to yourself to have some decent tools to do it with and if you're the kind of nerd who's building their own robot you're probably the kind of nerd that could justify running your own ethernet too I'm just saying I could be wrong but based on my entire census data of weirdo nerds that have built their robot which is exactly one just just me um, I I run my own Ethernet and if I can do it you can do it all right so there you go see isn't that so much easier with the right tool like yeah you can do it with just a razor blade but it's a pain in the ass all right so there's our three cables we're good there now this is the highly complicated detailed installation process for these cables. Are you ready for this? Okay, pay very close attention. I'm gonna get that in position so you can see exactly what's up. Okay, we'll start with blue. Now these will we'll totally plug right in the front here. Okay, this this will work but these will also plug in the back and blue we're gonna bend these off to the side and we're gonna take this out of there take that out of there we don't need anything in the box at the moment blue plugs down in the bottom corner so that's blue installed red which we're gonna kick off to the side plugs in the top oh, that's tight as a nun's nasty all right there we go okay so there's red and then yellow which we kick off to the side like that plugs in down here on the bottom and there are your three connections by color where they're supposed to be it should be red blue yellow that's according to the book and we're just going to leave these hanging but now we've got wires happening in our thing so that's progress and i'm pretty happy about it all right guys that's everything you need to know for step 10 as we continue building project archie and when we come back we're gonna solder for the first time you guys have fun i'm chris bowden thank you for hanging out and being a part of my dopey little videos. If you like this, if you're interested in seeing the progress on the robot, if you're interested in catching the live shows, which is a fire hose of content, I did like three live shows yesterday. Check the links below in the description, get in the Discord, and see how you can be involved in this on a higher level. And if you really like what I, want, what I do, and you wanna help out, check out the Patreon because that's how all these videos are funded. There are no sponsors, there are no advertisers, there are, I am not beholden to any motherfucker on the planet, which is why I can say motherfucker in a video. It's why I can do things like a call to action. I can say, hey, you, help out, get in the fucking Discord, get involved. I can do this because I'm not a nonprofit. I'm not a big corporation, I'm nothing. I'm just a weirdo in a basement building robots. And I do this because I love this. I do this because this is how I want to make the world a tiny bit better place. So check out the links in the description, get involved, and come hang out with me and my weirdo friends. You guys have fun. Thank you for watching. I'm Chris Bowden, and as always, we'll see you next time. Project Archie, episode 10, sync. Hi there guys, welcome back to the shop for episode 10 on the Project Archie construction. Fuck, fuck, one take Bowden. All right, Mark.